Yes, the government has secrets, but it can't keep them forever. On this week's security clearance news update, we're talking about declassification. We've had a couple articles about declassification up on the security clearance news site in the past month, and we've gotten a few questions about the declassification process. In December, we told you about automatic declassification. There is basically a procedure where after 25 years, historical documents that are classified are automatically declassified. This includes presidential records, it includes CIA documents and a variety um, of, again, classified documents, but documents that also have historical significance of some kind. So there was a data dump then in January. We unpacked a bit on our news site, um, some CIA extrasensory perception content from the CIA, uh, UFOs, some of that fun stuff that always trends well whenever the CIA does a data dump. They had some documentation related to that that came up under the 25-year declassification rule. So if you really need access to it now, 25 years is probably not going to do it for you. The other reason declassification is probably trending, we had a few questions about how do I find out a new administration coming in, an old one coming out, where are all those White House secrets? they're going to fall under the historical declassification. You might have to wait 25 years. If you don't want to wait 25 years, you may be asking, can I submit a Freedom of Information Act request for that information? A variety of information is available through Freedom of Information Act requests. We have information about how to submit a FOIA request on the Clearance Jobs website. You actually use a Privacy Act request in order to get access to your security clearance um, records. So if you want a copy of your background investigation file, the investigator's notes, you need to know which of your references you don't need to send a Christmas card to next year. You can find out that information by looking up your security clearance record um, and submitting a Privacy Act request. Through a FOIA Act request, you can find other types of documentation. So again, if you're looking for all of those White House secrets and you think you really have something you need, you can submit a FOIA request you're not going to get access to classified data through a FOIA request. The reason you'll see some FOIA request information come out and then heavily black lined, redacted, anything that falls under their nine exceptions um, to what can be released under FOIA. Again, classified information is going to fall into that. Um, law enforcement records, basically anything that's in the government's best interest to not release there is a FOIA exception. They don't really have to release that. Um, so they want to get information out to the public, but there is still um, a, lot of, a lot of criteria around that. So don't expect a flood of White House secrets, people. Just because it's January, you're going to have to wait 25 years, whenever that is. I don't do math. 25 years from now, maybe we'll get a really riveting data dump of information. It's not going to be anything super stealthy secret probably like what we have now. You can get UFO and find out how the CIA is exploring extraterrestrials. So for more on declassification, how to submit a FOIA or Privacy Act request, and what the declassification policy is, visit us at clearancejobs.com. Happy FOIA-ing, people!